Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga, big shit. Big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nothing, my dad. Man, hey, man, we got a special guest here today, man. This guy don't really, hey, man, this guy. He don't put that work in. He don't need no introduction. Uh, when I when I turn the camera on him, you niggas gonna really realize who it is, man. My guy's here, man. My, one of my closest friends, man. Low D's is in the building. What's going on, baby? What's up with it, man? What's going on? Man, just just happy to have you back on the on on the show. We've been doing a lot, man. We've been working yeah. over here. Yeah. You've been seeing us. Yeah, I see you working, man. <laughs> I commend you, man, from, since the last time I was here to, to, to where it's at now, man. Y'all really done grown, man. And, man, it's cause of I you. I salute you, man. It ain't cause of all of you, man. <laughs> cause of you. But I, I, I fuck with y'all, man, and uh, I, I just really, 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 really commend y'all for what y'all done did, man, in this time. You know what I'm well, I, I say it cause of you because a lot of times, like when I call you, you, I ask you stuff, man, you always there for me, bro. So I'm let's sure. be real, man. Like, like, I know already a lot of times some of this stuff is new to me, to be yeah. honest with you. And it, it, it that lifeline, right? Like I she like call OD, ask him about it. And you always pick up the phone. So I appreciate that, man. No doubt, bro. Yeah. Because small contributions help. Yeah, like 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 crazy. Yeah, we appreciate everything. Hey, yeah. Man, you know, that's the only way we're gonna pull this thing together mm-hmm. as a city, keep us thriving and keep us having folks in front of these microphones, man. You know yeah, I mean? stick gotta, together. Exactly. Yeah, man, you've been, you been and, and everybody have so many questions. I don't know what you don't want me to ask you, but I'm first going to ask you about Yellow. Like, is what's up with Yellow? Like, is he, how's he doing? You know, how's, 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 I seen that song came out yesterday. Yeah. I, I, I posted it on my page. I too. did too. Yeah. yeah. Situations with everything going, man. We, uh, song banging. Yeah, man, we, we back, we back on track. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we had to kind of chill for a little bit. We had a little situations we were leaving, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, we still good with them people, but we just don't do business anymore. Yeah. So, you know, uh, I've been hearing stuff in the streets. Some people say, hey, nigga got dropped and all this kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. But nah, ain't no drop, we just swap, you feel me? <laughs> but <laughs> you know how, you know, we just swap. You know how everything is. They gonna say what they wanna say because they I'm don't know. I'm up the rumors. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ain't nobody ever knew me to be a nigga that lied. Yeah, nah. Uh, so what's his next move now? Uh, we with new label. Uh, uh, they just made the announcement yesterday. Uh, the A&R Dallas Martin. We with Asylum Warner Brothers. So yeah, that's the new label we with now. Oh. We a partnership with them. You know, we bossed up every time we go somewhere. It's a partnership. Mm-hmm. So. That's what so we can right expect now. new music dropping like a lot. I know he just dropped that one yesterday, but. We can look for more coming soon. That's actually the second single, man. Uh, yeah. Well, I can't even call them singles. They're just songs that keep y'all nibbling mm-hmm. on something until we feel to get ready and, and drop the real. But uh, yeah, we dropped one last year too. Uh, I guess. He and, said, "I guess." And uh, no, nah, that's what it's called. Oh. I guess. <laughs> that's the name of the song we dropped last year. Uh, that was that was under uh, Asylum, and we just dropped uh, "Talk My Shit." Uh, mm-hmm. I saw that yesterday. So and that whole snapping. Mm-hmm. Got a, got a, slapping. Uh, the album should be here about the top of the second quarter. Can't okay, wait. that's what I that's what I wanted to know. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So uh, just um, I've been seeing you. Like I said, me and you talked briefly about the school. T- just tell me a little bit about what what was going it's, on. It's with not that. necessarily a school. It's the foundation I'm starting that I was partnering with the school. Okay. Uh, district, but uh, what inspired it? Before you get into it, I'm glad you asked that. Uh, what inspired it was uh, my son. Uh, he 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 was pretty like a mediocre student at first, you know what I'm saying? And then, you know, he started taking these classes and it made him get into production and things of that nature. And his, his grades started skyrocketing, you know what I'm saying? So you know. So they, basically, what he what he liked doing, right? Yeah, and he, he, found he was a audio and visual it. classes at his high school that he actually get a grade for. So uh, I said, man, they gave me the idea to want to do this in the urban school districts that don't have these classes, and it might do the same thing for. But kids in, that, that grew up where I grew up, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it happened for my son. You know what I'm saying? so happy that you're doing that because after interviewing your son mm-hmm. and hearing about that program at that school, every time when we, we speak about schools, I always bring that up. And I say I always would say more schools need to do that everywhere All because so many kids end up in trouble because mm-hmm. they're not interested in what they're teaching. So if they bring more things like that into their schools, 
a lot more kids might go to school. Yeah, but dealing with this, uh, you know, you got a lot of red tape to cut through with the school district, and it's kind of probably going to start a little bit later than what I thought because of all the things that you got to go through to get it done. But that's just as far as the partnership with the school district. But What school we, district are you trying? I was trying uh, DISD because that's where I went to Dallas. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but, you know, as things go, we'll, we'll figure out the nature of it. But it's just a, it's just a, uh, I was trying to bring that into the curriculum of the school, but we're going to start doing it on our own anyway, just have our own facilities and just have some place where kids can come. Because what they got is financial literacy, audio, uh, audio visual classes, also uh, uh, entrepreneur classes, financial literacy, you know what I'm saying, about how to do these things, different things in the industry. You know so that's what you're offering? Yeah. So will it be an after-school program? That's where that, well, that's what we're going to do, an after-school program first, to where we don't have to partnership with the school district. We just do it on our own dime. No. Our contributions and you know, places like you guys and mm-hmm. bring kids by. And, you can always and it'd do be that. free for all the kids to come and do it? Yes, yes. We're not charging a dime. And then at the end of the you know, we try to put together, you know, field trips for them to go to different facilities and see, you know, oh. you know, maybe news news places or uh, uh, different, uh, you know, different buildings that, that actually cater to this because this is, it's, a, it's a big industry. And then kids can actually do this and make money at it while – they're right. really, really learning how to do it professionally. You know what I'm saying? Because they are already doing it anyway. You know, it's just giving them, you know what I'm saying, the actual, you know, science behind it. Yeah, and the respect. So, All right. You know? So are you um, sending information out about this program, like door to door, putting like door knockers out? Because that, to me, that's the, one of the best ways because some parents don't see it online mm-hmm. or listen to like some some people like us. Oh, we was doing like, uh, I can't say it was door knockers, but it's more like a mailing mail list. Yeah, or mailing. Uh, how many kids, how many mailers have you sent out? Or are uh, you going to send out? I, I have to give, you know, I don't do that personally. There'd be somebody <laughs> that, you know. Okay, how many kids can you facilitate? Uh, as of right now, we're doing like, at one facility at one time, we do like 40 kids. That's, that's, that's a that's lot. How many facilities are, do you have just one? Just one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's we, a lot. You know what I'm saying? Once once we finish it per class per class because yeah. you can how many classes? Because if you get a lot of kids, you can say okay, well this class is going to go from school finish around three forty. You know, st- classes start at four. So four to five would be this set of forty kids. Mm-hmm. Five to six be this set but of see, kids. You know, we got like six different. You know, it's, we, you know, as t- as time grows, we can do it like that. But mm-hmm. right now, we just got one one, one group of kids we're working on at a time. And okay. that's just what, because we just starting up, you know what I'm saying? No, so these, I, I'm going to be real honest with you, man. I think that's needed, man. It's just, it is. The old system that we, our kids have, have had to endure, just like we did for so many years, that doesn't change, that kind of teaches them the same way, the same standard. I think a lot of times that, that that's not, like our daughter makes straight mm-hmm. A's. She don't make 95 or better is what we talk mm-hmm. at home. And, and she's 16 in 11th grade. Mm-hmm. And and but she even tells me she like dad this this I won't even use none of this stuff when I'm out of school. I can't let you know the last time I used Pythagorean theorem. You see, mm-hmm. <laughs> I know it's a a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Yeah, I debate with them all the you know time. What I'm My daughter tells t- tells me all the time, "Mommy, y'all force us to go to school. Yeah. That's the only reason we go to school. Y'all yeah. force us to go to school." But see, you know, it, it's it's okay with school. education. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trying to knock education at all. That's not that's the, that's not what I want to say. Mm-hmm. Here. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, uh, a lot of times the, the graduation rates are low because the, 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 the traditional things that go on, everybody's not a part of it. Everybody's not a football, basketball player, play sports. Everybody's not going to be in the choir. Everybody's not, not going to be in the band. You know, everybody's not going to be on the debate team. But they know how to do things with these cameras right here. They know how to do things with uh, uh, editing the program. You know what I'm saying? Or they know how to do things... But they don't have anything, no outlets for that. You know what I'm saying? So these classes are for, for, for things of, the, of that nature to strengthen those and nurture those type of creative-minded students. You know what I'm saying? To have so they can have some outlet, outlets. I think I agree, I agree 100. percent Like I said, I, I I still say you know that it's so needed because you want to get pe- kids interested in in places, things that they're interested in, instead of just 
forcing something on them and, that, and, that and, way, and it not be something that they'll ever mm-hmm. use again like we, you just said. We increase the graduation rate because now mm-hmm. if I can't I can't go to the, my, my audio visual class I can't go to the studio I can't do these type of things if I don't pass the don't play I get some UIL rules applied to it or things of that nature. And if, if the school see say example say some trouble kids who always give trouble at school and whatever and all of a sudden they start to enroll in your program mm-hmm. and they start to do better that could be something you could also present to the schools and say see this is the impact that we're having on these children and That's this is how thing. you need to, why you need to implement it. Well, see, I was starting with after school programs because it was so much less red tape I had to cut to get my my program started mm-hmm. to partnership with the school because if you induct it into a curriculum, then you got to go through so much more stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then you got to worry about, uh, uh, if it's after school, you got to worry about meal plans, you got to worry about transportation, you got to worry about, and you can't, you can't take these kids yourself. You can't, even if you had a, bu- a fleet of buses, it has to be authorized through the school, you know what I'm saying? Oh, really? And you can't give them anything to eat, you know what I'm saying? Because the nutrition has to be, you know, authorized through the school. So it's like a whole bunch of different stuff. Unless you're la- labeled or sort of kind of like a um, after school care, like a daycare or something like that. Yeah, that's why I don't want to be partnered with, mm. with, off the rip with the school. I want to yeah. stand up, stand up tile on my own first, yeah. and mm-hmm. it could be something like a boys and girls club, but only, you know, catered to the things that we do. It's crazy so, because it, with him having sons, uh, I just, I know you kind of bumped into this. It wasn't something that you just planned or no, you've been was, thinking about something because you, because of the care that you was giving to your son, mm-hmm. it, it's something that you kind of bumped in. That's the way a lot of things mm-hmm. is, you know? And, you know, he didn't go to school where I went to school at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when I go to school at, I, ain't, I know it. Ain't none of this stuff here. You know what I'm saying? Like, Where'd you graduate school, if you don't mind I went to Macy Smith uh, okay. High School. You okay. know what I'm saying? Right now it's like a technical school. They turned in, I think they did it in like 2010. But when I went there, it was one of the most, you know, one of them schools, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so. You know, what age range are you catering to? Like, like Just high school or are you doing middle school and elementary? Well, you know, it, I want to deal with kids that are almost at that at them adolescent years. That, that, that are, uh, you know, I, I don't know if there's adolescent So, years. middle school, because like my son is 14, he's in middle Starting school. Starting in middle school all the way up to like high school. To like high school. you're about to okay. get ready to make your daughter's decision. It's time mm-hmm. for you to know how to different. Because, you know, nowadays you need more than one way to make money. And kids are and, smart earlier. And you got to show them things that they can do before they do, do all the things that they know that they've been growing right. up seeing. You know what I'm saying? Like some of them probably are already doing it. Mm-hmm. So if you put them in there and start them already early, you know what I'm saying, in different hustles and ways they can make money. You know what I'm saying? You can pull up with, with your camera in, or you can edit videos for people. You can get paid for that on the way up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's what I like to call on the way up money, even with mm-hmm. artists. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, they can fig- figure out some skills and really, really have skills with this because it's needed. And, and people get paid for this very well. So, so um, my, no, my next exactly. question Absolutely. is... Um, qualified individuals to teach these things i know in the music section you're that you have that down pat but whereas like financial finances and all of that other area you said that so now we're talking about cryptocurrency now we talk i got the people that's going to be on cnn and bloomberg uh, i got my cousin michael edwards who do this real tough that's his department that when he did it with me uh, is this the guy that me and you talked about yeah okay you met him at my boat party you yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 you know what i'm saying so and then uh, on the other side as far as visuals and uh, uh, all the camera work, that's Raheem Handy I did with him, okay. you know what I'm saying, with uh, Clear Motion Films. Yeah. And, uh, that's, and, and as far as instructors to teach it, I, I know some people that, you know what I'm saying, that, that are certified through the school district to actually deal with kids. They, DISD, they didn't hire them already. So, uh, so how many different classes? So you have photography, mm-hmm. you have engineering, which is the audio, mm-hmm. you have finances, mm-hmm. there's three. What other classes? The other one is uh, sound stage production. Okay, four. And, uh, uh, what is one more? Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, that's it. That's it, okay. Five. Is, is there, uh, like, government funding or anything that. Oh, we're tapping into that, but that's you know, what I was right thinking. Now, Not you know, now, but I mean, you, it I'm sounds like. Yeah, I'm, I'm you should be able to get some. I'm working toward it. So, I'm, you know, in order to deal with things of that nature, you have to have, like, three years of your. Yeah. Your, uh, your, your your foundation being oh really cer- certified to get those to, to get, get the funding. grants, but you also can partner okay. with other people and then they can funnel the funds down. But you know, I'm just working, man. You I know like what I'm saying? It, man. I like uh, it uh, because when, it's when gonna that be time hard. Come, come, I got enough. I got I, I got some people that's down with me though. Right. You know what I'm saying? But that's yeah. good because for people who want to start trying to do something like this, when you think about it, you're offering this free for kids, yeah. But then people who are teaching, they're gonna have to either volunteer their you know. And no, we're gonna pay them. Okay, so you paying them, but 
you're not making no money off of it. Yeah, but that's where everything comes in together. You know what I'm saying? As far as the the, the funding and, and mm-hmm. the people that donate. Okay, awesome. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, these you know. But as far as people just want to get down with us too and, and do volunteer work, we ain't refusing that. Okay. No, I love these. That, that's, that's 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 dope, man. Like I said, it's only God because when you start doing things that impact you know families and kids and can mm-hmm. change people's generations, that's dope, man. Mm-hmm. Like like. You don't Visions see and signs of the future. I ain't never get to let, it, let everybody know. What I was just about to say, what's the Visions name? Visions and signs of the future foundation. That's v- dope. Okay. Visions and signs of the future. Yeah. Okay. And if somebody wanted to donate, how could they donate? Uh, you can go look at uh, vsf.com. Uh, okay. Um, I was asking you, so is there any way someone could donate to your foundation? Yeah. Uh, uh, they could donate by... Uh, Going to our Facebook, we got donation buttons there, uh, and then you can also go to the Instagram or you can go to the website. And um, all of your social media is the same name, mm-hmm. the acronym or the full name? Uh, it's, the, it's the full name. Okay. Visions and Sounds of the Future Foundation. Okay, that's that's a lot. <laughs> so VSFF. Okay, that's easier. Mm-hmm. So um, where do you see this going? I feel like it should be big, man. Uh, I really want to go to different school districts and partner with it and and, and, and uh, make it be a uh, part of the curriculum for those classes or for those schools because I feel like every urban school or any school that doesn't have it need it because it increased the graduation rates. That's you know true. That's, that's the main thing that everybody's talking about, passing tests and, incre- mm-hmm. and in- increasing graduation rates with their seniors because... A lot of times they're not motivated to do anything. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Would you partner with Talk anybody? <laughs> would you partner with anybody outside of um, Texas? Yes, 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 yes. We're going. You know, I, I'm not like E. E is very territorial. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He ain't trying to do nothing. But unless it's for Texas, it's what we That is not true. I ain't like that. That's man. not true. It just starts in Texas and go up. Yeah, exactly. That's all I'm that's, saying. That's, that's all I'm saying too. We're gonna start here and we're gonna go everywhere because I feel like this this was strengthening. The fabric of our black people, you know what mm-hmm, I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's what we need, man. Ain't nobody doing this, you know what I'm saying? You know, and I'm, I'm tripping. It, it is people doing this, but we all need to come together as far as one fabric to make it happen as a bigger thing for our kids, because that's the future, man. Have you yeah. ever looked to see if anybody else is, has been doing it, but you know, on the side, like how you say you're starting because of all the red tape? Maybe you haven't heard of them, and you some you can join with them and help. Well, hey, if y'all see this, reach out to me, man. Yeah. We can get together and. See how we can make it happen. Yeah. You know what I'm like I said, it's it's definitely not something that's just being talked about everywhere. It's yeah. something that that's different for me, unless I'm not tapped in. No, no, it's it's uh, you know, and shout out to all the movements around here. You know, you got OGU, you mm-hmm. got you know a lot of people that's doing a lot of big things for the city, man. So you know, I love it. I love your idea. I love. Um, I wish you the best. I will be praying for the organization because it's it, it's a really good um, thing you're doing. Thank yeah, you. and if, if you run into some kids that don't have or, or less fortunate or anything and we can help, that's what we're here for. Yeah, we can't charge these kids for this, man. They, yeah. They need, to, they need to take it and just be their best selves with it. That's the only mm-hmm. thing y'all owe us. And we have a lot of good people that come on this show that talk about the kids or try to do stuff towards the kids. No matter how crazy things may get, man, God always says something that he always does. Uh on this show, I've been seeing it where, you mm-hmm. know, if it ain't you, it's, it's, it's numerous of people. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I'm always trying to figure out ways to, to be a part of that, period. Yeah, what yeah. you can do with a school, I'm, I'm sure you probably could do this part. Because I know that, uh, especially for high school kids, they'll get extra credit when they do certain things. Mm-hmm. Um, they usually go and get work. But yeah. if they come and do, you know, work, so to say, at your foundation, they could get those credits all you have to do is that's sign off on thing paperwork. I, I was trying to uh, do too. That was a part of it, uh, the co-op. You know. What I'm yeah, saying? that's what. And then instead of them going to work at, you know, the grocery store mm-hmm. or uh, Church's Chicken up the street, they could be going to work in something that's in their field, and also, you know, you know, probably WFAA, China Aid, or maybe you know, different studios or whatever, or different uh, KD studio. A lot of different things mm-hmm. they could go to and just intern and, and and actually still get those credits. And you know, even if some of those people who their intern and four might need some extra hands and you know that's they, dope man they can, they can qualify and it's cool with their parents for them to work around that, that that'd that be something they can do instead of just working a regular ID and job just to have a co-op situation going at school and your foundation would be able to help them even get jobs recommend them for certain jobs most definitely yeah but actually the most important most 
professional people. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That they can be around. And, 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 and it, it fits you anyway because of the stuff that you've already, you know, been dealing with throughout your career and, and deal, you know, the music and all that stuff run hand in hand. Yeah, you know, everybody know that this is me, man, as far as what I represent, man, because I don't really just chase the mess. I'm about the business. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm about helping. I'm about really making a difference. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm about trying to make some of this Dallas music scene and, Whatever I can make it grow from there, the roots can spread to whatever it can be that's positive. I ain't, yeah. with, I ain't with none of that. Yeah. You know You've saying? been straight up ever since I've met you, man. I every, I thought you was dope from the day one. I'm like, dang, this nigga dope as hell. Like, and about business. And about being, but, but just dope, a dope person. I'm a good judge of character, bro. Yeah. So I already know what's real. Like, I already be seeing, I see the flaw. I mean, I see the ones that I like, oh, man, I need to be here to help this person or whatever. But you came across as a, a very professional entrepreneur, but also just a leader and somebody who really cared about uh, making sure that the business stayed professional. Man, you know, everybody don't like to listen to my interviews all the time because I don't like, you know, I ain't clickbait. Man. And I don't care about that. People, I don't man, either. Listen, listen, people that's going to hear what I'm saying or hearing what I'm about, that's the people that need to hear it. You know exactly. What I'm saying? Because, you know, at the end of the day, what we're trying to do is make this shit last as long as it can. Mm -hmm. Man, it, this, this stuff been feeding families around here. It's been changing lives. This music scene needs to it needs to grow more. You know what I'm saying? And right now, we just turn it down. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't with none of that. Yeah, at all. yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. We got to keep on eating around here. And the only way that's going to happen is we thriving. Say, E, you ain't going to have nobody behind this microphone it, 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 as long as long as keep up, people keep on doing what they're doing, man. Mm -hmm. right they, they pull down everybody from Dallas to Fort Worth, man. They pull down anybody that make it up to here. Yeah. They love you when you're right here, though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? When, when you're just getting paid a thousand dollars a show and you know, might got a hundred people at your shows, you know, they love you then. But as yeah. soon as you start taking off and you got, you know, uh, 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 millions in the bank and really getting yeah. the word, yeah. Yeah. Word, word, you know, they don't like you no more. Yeah, man. and that's fine. Or because the more they talk about they, you. They're they going to stab you in the back. But that's fine because at the end of the day. No, it's not. No, it's not you're going to grow, not, no, man. Listen to me, listen like to me. I said, it's you, not, you, it's you, not you, fine you, because it, sometimes they try to kill that man. And sometimes they're successful. It. I get it. It's, it's crazy, bro. But the only thing I'm saying is at that point, though, when you start to elevate in your career, you have to be able to move to this different level and go a different way because a lot of times you're not going to be able to take everybody through that door with you, man. I understand that too, man. It's not so, even about how you move, though, sometimes, bro. I'm telling you, man, mm -hmm. it's just happening. Mm -hmm. Look yeah. what's going on, man. No, mm -hmm. I see it. Everybody dropping. If you're a rapper, you're dying down there. No, I know it. Man, that's not I what's know up. It. And I see it. It ain't what's up. No, I, I agree 100%, but I just was saying that I know that you have to, you definitely have to move different. You you have to move different. You can't go into the same place to do the same thing that you've done when you like, you like, you're doing better than everybody. I mean, my, take, for instance, Taylor came over the other day. He pulled up in the lamb truck. I mean, he back in. Every, you know, ain't nobody else got no damn lamb trucks around right. here. So people that makes you stick out like a sore thumb. So you have to move in a way to where you don't put yourself in certain places and in you certain right situations, man. You're right about that, too. But, you know what I'm saying? You know, you, you, everybody pulling up in lamb trucks in Miami. Everybody pulling up in lamb trucks in Atlanta. And in L.A., too. In I New know. York, I done seen Niggas them. ain't tripping. Well, Why they got, can't be like that here? We gotta we gotta change the conditioning of the people, man. But that only, yeah, that too. You're right. You're right. But at the same time, man, you grown, bro. You know yeah. that sounds like an excuse. Stay, that sounds like some excuses, what you man. Say, what you say? You gotta be prayed yeah, up. Yeah, you gotta stay prayed up. That's got really to. what it you is. Boils down to because. I live my life where you can't control what nobody else does, say or think. Exactly. You know what I mean? So they going y'all could be best friends, and you blow up, and all of a sudden they hating on you. Yeah. They want to kill you because they said that should have been me. That should have been me. You understand what I mean? I was going grind. We, I, we ate out the same place. How, how it happened yeah. for you? And sometimes you could even turn around to try to give them a hand up, but they're still mad at you. Yeah. They're not. They're not taking that advantage and saying, "Okay, let me do my thing. Let me prove myself." Everybody don't have the same mindset. Everybody don't think the same way. So at the end of the day, sometimes coming up, you have to sit still, watch your environment, mm -hmm. watch who's around you. Sometimes family too. Yeah. You have to just be still because sometimes you get so caught up in the hype of everything that you don't take notice. You think about it. The, the, Until something bad happens. The, the kid that was on here, the one that, what did you lie, the guy got killed after, you know, the dude that was standing behind him. Mm -hmm. You know, this was his last interview. Mm -hmm. And uh, we was able to talk to him a little bit, you know, talk to him about God and all kind of stuff, really, because that's how I roll. But the thing is, we never thought that that guy 
that was with him that day would have been the one to kill him. And he was they trying to get me argument. to to basically put him to get that guy an interview, For an interview. You know, but I'm just saying it's crazy. Like when that was the first time I ever seen something like that happen. Because we just started. We only been doing this a year mm -hmm. and something a little over. And a year when that now. happened with some months that we have, we had we been in months. You had you, we had already did his interview, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but it just threw us off. But we end up having to go to the funeral and everything because. We didn't, this stuff is moving in real time, man. People's yeah. lives are changing, people dying. It's crazy. You just don't know from one second to the next what's going to happen. And so every opportunity I get is for me to say, hey, man, try to show love, try to embrace them, try to tell them something that can take, being an older person, trying to tell them something that can take them somewhere. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. Now, at the end of the day, I, you know, we pray about it. We pray for everybody to come on these panels. You know what I mean? Yeah. But at the end of the day, we know we're in a crisis situation. But but we here because we've been through some stuff and we're able to try to help penetrate. If we don't, then nobody's going to say nothing or do anything. So and we got uh, I, maybe I care too much. I and at know. the end of the day, leaving a legacy is not leaving to me monetarily stuff. No, sure. It's leaving love, life lessons, things that people gonna always cherish and take with them. Because I guarantee you can remember that person who was impactful in your life that told you something that you realized that that was so true and you took that all through your life and you mm -hmm. lived by that. You're right. That is leaving a legacy. Yeah. So that's what yeah, I that's true. I always try to say something to all of them, man, because you know, they ain't gonna respect you if you ain't got nothing to say to them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? Like they ain't gonna, and they, even if you do got something to say to them, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and they don't respect you, you ain't gonna listen. That's right. So, you know, at the same time, you know, Big Bro and OG and all that kind of stuff is cool, but oh. you know, what you really gotta tell, Uncle, mm -hmm. you know, what you really gotta tell them, man. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Another class that I was, um, when y'all were talking, um, that I would suggest, if possible, is character building. Mm -hmm. um, because a lot of people don't know how to, whether act business-wise, how to act um, personally, just like how to have artist development, mm -hmm. um, trying to teach them how to deal with certain situations, the crowd, how to act here in front of interviews, how to this, how to that. Mm -hmm. People need more of that because some people are not raised in a certain type of household to even learn certain type of etiquette. Yeah, you're right. You know what I mean? So if you can create a class that teaches everything about just etiquette, how to move out here, how to go out here for a job. You see people going to job and wearing for interviews and wearing pajamas. Yeah. You know, the but, certain you know, simple you know, stuff. That, those type of things is what, you know, you just try to teach as we go on. You know, I look into, uh, you know, having a separate thing for that too. You that know makes saying? sense though. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember I was over at one of my partners who got a clothing store. Good idea. And I was mm -hmm. at his Thanks. store and these two girls came in for a, a, a interview and he wasn't like, he didn't look like us, but he was, uh, he was from another country. But at any rate, Maybe an A rap or whatever, but I was just talking to him because he real me and him good friends on the clothing thing. And the kid, the two girls that came in was sisters. I remember. Remember I told mm -hmm. you about that? And they was trying to get a job, but they didn't really know how to carry themselves. You know what I mean? We want to work. But yeah, we <laughs> want to work. And they they were kind of wild, but but you know, and uh I started talking to them. And when I'm talking to them, I'm telling them, hey man, you know, I say, I own a, a store, a couple of stores at the time. I say, man, you guys uh I say, you got to know how to come in and talk to these people if you want a job. I say, because they looking at your appearance and they listen to me. And we mm -hmm. talk for about, I'm standing in the back of the store talking to them for about uh, 10 minutes. When they leave out, the dude that owned the store was like, E, man, you, you shouldn't be talking to them. I wasn't going to hire them anyway. I said, it ain't about that, bro. I had to tell him. Mm -hmm. It's about my people, man. I'm gonna talk to them because these they people they my people mm -hmm. and they, they ain't yours and they were listening. Yeah, that. that's right. And they were listening to me. If they'll listen, yeah. then I'm a damn well talk to them. So yeah. I didn't really care what he was saying. Right. I had to check him. No, they care. I remember when I was coming up, bro. You know, we wouldn't cuss in front of grown people. No, if we, if we knew they was right there. No, you know I'm <laughs> if they walk right up and they heard us, you know what I'm saying? That's different. But but if we knew they was right there, man, we wouldn't for the cuss in front of these kids. And I don't give a damn. But you have. And I know I look. Oh, I know I don't look like I'm their age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I know it's like, goddamn, some seniority coming, you know what I'm saying? They'll look at me and be, man, but, fuck you, man. Yeah. Like, oh, shit. They just talking to me, they, you know what I'm saying? It's just crazy. It's just like the amount of respect that kids, and, it, it, and even like, it ain't even just that with, with people, man. It's like, all right, so it, even like, let's say with rappers, they don't respect the rappers that came before them. No. You know what I'm saying? They're like, ah, oh, nigga, 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 nigga. Them niggas oh. still rapping, they need to get out the way. You know what I'm saying? You know, nah, man. It was like it was a time where you know I, I didn't necessarily was old enough to be listening to uh, KRS One and Rakim, 
But I went and did my homework and I respect them because they was, they came before me and they was the niggas that everybody that my cousins was talking about yeah. with the niggas. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know. They just the, the homework nigga went back and did because I yeah. feel like, you know. No, no, I agree. And special ed, I always say special. Special ed, I know, man. I'm just saying. So it was just like you know, it was the respect I had for the generation that came before me. That's all. That's and, what I'm and, saying. And, 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 D nice. We had a lack of that now. I'm still saying names. D nice. We got a lack of that now. Yeah, but we got D nice. <laughs> D nice. You know what I'm saying? Africa nigga. band bottle. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Everybody just started out cool. Her island people. Cool her. Name, you know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. just the real. Cool you know, D. Just like how they won't go. Just, they won't. You know. I don't know. I, and that's another. That's another. That's Big another Daddy song. Kane, shout Stop. out! I'm just shouting out my cool boy. Mo-D. Yeah, yeah, all of you know I'm saying? just saying, Cool Mo D. Yeah. Uh, you gotta say LL, nigga. He Dougie Fresh. Yeah, all them. You know I dug saying? all of them. Yeah, them boys. Get that, them boys. Yeah, yeah. I think. Okay, it's up to people like you. you did, your generation has been between, so we got to keep the bridge going. We yeah. got to educate the people that's put in, you know, in our presence. But see, you know, I would want them to know about those people that I had to go do my homework on too. That's all cool, but I would rather them even know about the people that just came right before them. Them, yeah. You ain't got to, you know, if you want to go back that far, you can, but just just do your homework on the people that came before you. What, what, the Scarfaces and yeah, and and, 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 and the Willie D's and A. B. and M. J. G's and Jay Z and Nye and all them man. Just do your homework on the people that came before you. And see how they did it. If you really just look at, at Jay and just study him, man, you can actually be a better artist. I'm just saying yeah. on how he moved. Yeah. He the first one that really just kind of didn't care about with the label. Yeah. Y'all yeah. want to sign me? All right, I'm going to sign myself. He the first one that did that. You talking about uh, Jay? Yeah. Well, you got to say Dame Dash when you say that. Man, they were the part of his crew. He put up, he was the third third of it too, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely. It wasn't that. just Dame, it was another B, dude. Yeah, Biggs yeah, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what I'm saying. Say, whole yeah, that's a whole collective movement. But I'm saying, bro, he did sign himself, fam. He yeah, came no, back no, and he I did, did his thing. That's all it. I'm saying. You know, no. everybody be trying to discredit you. <laughs> I ain't discredit. I'm just saying it's <laughs> a group effort, like man. <laughs> We're not going to go there. No, let's no, 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 not get You see me put no, it in there. I, 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 I want to put, like, rappers that from the south up there, but, like, you know, they kind of were signing the labels for it. Right. Like, like, like mm-hmm. the ghetto boys was rapping a lot. They, you know, they, they weren't independent. They was independent uh, record label, but they weren't. Who was the first? Well, yeah, P. Yeah, who was the first? P. Who, who was the P. first Texas artist to um, be independent? Sign for Lil Flip. Oh, I hit him with the Lil Flip move. Boy, I hit him with the Lil Flip move. Who was it? Yeah. Do you know? <laughs> it might be Flip, though. I already hit him with uh, it. Flip was, was Flip was early on, nigga. Who That's what made Texas? him a problem because yeah. he. No, nah, Flip, man. <laughs> Flip went in. I can't lie. Flip went in. I don't know. I, don't, I can't say who you no, first. Because, no, because you're talking know. about I can't, I can't researching. I can't say who was the first. I don't know. I got to go look that when, up. See, when you talk about research and you got to think about it. the first. More yeah. artists I'm are going you. independent now. Yeah. So they should always look back and see who was the first one here to, to do it. That yeah, would be right. a good thing to research. Yeah, you're right. So uh, who, who, all got it, who all doing it now? You got a lot of and and, it's, and 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 success. For like Dolph got, was count. He was one like that, right? Yeah, yeah, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, Dolph was too. Yeah, yeah. Dolph, Dolph had the pre thing going, man. But you know what I'm saying. It's it's it's, it's a lot of them got a lot of labels and, and, and still have uh, distribution deals. You know what I'm saying. Like you got your your label and then you got your distribution deal too. So it's like that's that's who distributing through my independent Correct. label. You know what I'm saying. So you know. That was really like the blueprint of it at first. You know, P did have no limit, but Priority Records was a distribution company. Who else was? How many artists do you have right now? I just got two. Okay, let's go on there. What three G and yellow? What three? I'm tripping. Three. Jose, uh, Jose, 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 I'm gonna ask you about him because you brought him on the show and uh, we linked up, man. How's he doing? But they good, man. He about to get ready uh, and drop some shit he just shot. Okay. He got the new album, Defamation of Character, coming. When he when he drops, you got to bring him through. I, I most definitely will. So we can rock out again. Mm-hmm. You know, he he had a great energy. I love the grandma I like, vibe. Yeah, I like it. Got grandma person. with him. When it, it was Highland Hill back. You know what? He seems so, no he's so respectful. He's he he's really a, a good young man. Bodega, Bodega, a real one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He always he just tell us about the good eating spots and where he thinks yeah. he got to go. Yeah, I'm trying <laughs> to get him on that uh, on his own little. Load. I can't, I can't say it's like a moving podcast where he, he takes people to do, you know Really? What that's what I'm trying to get him to do with, you know. It was something he was talking about venturing into last time he was here, and I don't forget. It was some type of, it might have been a food, or was it a food venture? It was something. Nah, that's what he was doing, going to different restaurants. Exactly, that's what it was. And, and around the DFW area, and as he traveled and doing other things. How did that go? He, he's still doing it. Okay, you know what cool. I'm saying? He's coming together, yeah. 
And you tell him I asked about him if you don't see this episode. I hope you watching Jose Bodega. Bodega going to see it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just, like I said, man, I just uh, appreciate you, man. Um, uh, how can people get a hold of you if they want to try to link up with you as far as uh, if they got some kids they trying to help or kids want to link up with you? You can always follow me on my Instagram, uh, L-O-D-Z, L-O-W-D-E-E-Z-I-E, or Adrian Brown on Facebook. Okay, okay. Um, yeah, all my information is there, how you can get in contact with me. Yeah, did we cover everything? Yes, sir. Is there anything else you'd like to add? BSFF, Visions and Sounds of the Future Foundation. Follow it on Facebook and Instagram. And oh, you can man. go to uh, visionsandsoundsofthefuture.com. I'm going to be calling worrying you anyway, so we'll figure it out yeah, as I we know go. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I know, know it. it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to answer the phone, though. No, you always do, if man. If he's not busy. Yeah, well, he be busy, but I understand that. Let some t- that's what mm-hmm. Taylor said the hey, other day. Hey, if, if I'm you, on a Zoom I'm, call, I can't click over. Right. That's, that's right. I'm just going to hang it up. Yeah. If I'm on a you know, five or six people on a FaceTime call. I do it too, so I get it. So I can't, I can't answer your phone call. That's why you need to have multiple phones. I do, yeah. but he called the one I'm on the phone. <laughs> you know, I can't. I got, I got to give him my other number too. <laughs> no, but that's okay. what I got. I got, my I got it's I got four two. phones right here. Yeah, you know, <laughs> four. I don't I got, even know what that's I all got about. Four. Bones. What you got? One for the one for the wood. One for the wood. <laughs> I just got one, so people won't call me. Oh, I ain't never gave a that number. Don't, that I don't promise. make no sense. Do, I don't it. know. <laughs> that does not make any sense. Man, I got a partner, man. Shout out, shout out, my partner, D Town, man. I ain't hear, I ain't seen my boy in a minute, man. Okay, my, my boy D Town ain't never had no cell phone. Never, and he can afford fifty of them. Are you, know you serious? But the only way you can call him is by a landline. I love that. Shout I like that nigga man. right there, man. Does he have kids though? Yeah, he got kids. Young but. ones. Uh, Are they grown? They they they, they of age. He ain't never had a cell phone. He never had no. Yeah, he do got young ones. Yeah, he do got. Never had a fact, cell he phone. Had, I think his little son. He just had a son not too long ago. That's the only reason I be thinking about a cell phone, yeah, like, so same, that they same, can they can. If emergency happen, they need to, to be able my, to catch. You don't have to catch my boy at home at or at work. Bro, I just had this conversation the other day. We was over at, at eating at a friend's house. We had a bunch of people, a bunch of ke- couples over there, and uh, they was like. Uh, I can't uh Real Holly Hill, say, man. Shout out to D Town, man. For sure, man. <laughs> Listen, I'm telling you, this guy, they said they couldn't go without a, a phone. Period. Yeah. That's the question. They were serious the about it. I asked somebody like, this, they said no. Not for the whole day. Could you leave your phone at home and, and go, go out to eat? They can't even yeah. do that, bro. Only reason I, I, I sometimes I leave it at home if I don't live too fast. If I live too far, man, ain't no use of me turn around and going to get that phone. Wow. I, I deal with it when I get there. Both of your phones. You don't have no phone I on t- you. I turn around and do it. I ain't got to turn around. All the time, like, if I don't live, if I don't went too far, if I'm 30 minutes away from that phone, man, that phone going to have to wait until I get back home. Wow. Man, hey, man, thank you for coming on Boss Talk again. Low Deezy, we love you, bro. Oh, you sure, are you are our homie. Love, and anytime you need anything, I'm here. I promise, don't act like the line ain't out there. I'll be like, yeah, nigga, that nigga said he'll do it. Let me call him. Yeah. Nah, you know, I, 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 I called you the other day. I said, say. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's going down. down. Thank you so much for coming on the show, man. Um, it's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. And we out.